What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I'm going to be playing The Adventure of Link. However, it's translated to Esperanto. Now obviously this is a very old game. Um, it's a old NES game that's been ported to computer and I'm using an emulator right now to play it. But one of you guys out there, you translated it to Esperanto, you linked it in my YouTube channel, so I just, I had to check it out for just old time's sake. So yeah, and Esperanto is called La Aventura del Link. So let's just begin, shall we? <laughs> okay, now at the same time, I'm not going to be teaching Esperanto in this lesson. I will be continuing the World of Warcraft lessons, don't stress on that. I just wanted to, you know, just mix it up, do a few other things at the same time. Whoops, just started randomly shooting stuff. So, yeah, um, to play this game, I'm going to put all the links down in the comments there and kind of give like a basic description of how to get this up and running because it was a bit of a mission, to be honest. Uh, by the way, that there... That little girl laying there, I'm assuming that's the princess. Now, I've played for a little bit, so I'm not, I don't really know what I'm doing. Anyway, to play this, you got to download these two main files. So you got to download the original NES file uh, for this game, and then you got to download an IPS file, which is the Esperanto translation. And then you use this program called Lunar IPS to actually uh, merge the two into one, so you can then create like a single NES file to play with. And then you use uh, one of the random emulators out there. Now, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just like walking randomly at the moment. Um, one of the random emulators out there, like the one I'm using is, I can't pronounce it. It's spelled F-C-E-U-X. Um, and then you can load up the ROM and actually start playing it. Let's see what... Ooh, there's a sign. Bon Venon Al Rado. I don't know what that... Like... Yeah, anyway. Hey, how do I get out of the sign? Oh, no, don't reopen. Ooh, there's a girl. Hello. Hello, come back, I'll shoot you, in the back, because that's the type of person I am. Pardonu, minesias, what don't you know? By the way, um, yeah, that means, sorry, I, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, what's this? Vi trovos la palazzon tra norda tunelo. So there's a pass, uh, there's a castle through the north tunnel. Should we go that way, or should we go check out what's over here? What do we got over here? Eh, let's ask this girl. Lasu min helpi vin bon volu en iri. So, let me help you, please enter. Okay. Let's. Oh, hello, random dick Viro. Mitro okupi just por Oh, well, I'm sorry to interrupt your life. Anyway, so yeah, that's how you basically load it up. Now, in this here, I'm not going to be teaching Esperanto. I'll be, as I said, continuing on with the World of Warcraft lessons. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun today. Um, but I did want to talk about, like, some of the cool books I've got, because uh, some people have asked me, like, how did. Like, what is it? Oh my god, what, what's this? Uh, um, there's a blob thing. Oh, that's, that's bend down. Okay, can I shoot it? Die, you random blob. Come here. Die, die. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh no, oh no. Go away. Go away, blob. You cannot take me alive. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um, yeah, that, that went brutal. Okay, yeah, so I want to talk about a few of the books that I have and I enjoy. Now, I'm one of those people, like, I've, I like to physically have books. Like, I know I could have, like, a thousand ebooks for every physical book sitting on a drive type of thing. But me, I like to, like, hold books, like, physically in my hands, especially Esperanto books. There's something about having them that makes me feel happy inside. Urubeto Ruto. Okay, so apparently we're in Ruto. Oh, hello. Okay, no, I don't want to enter into your house. You're probably going to stab me and take my wallet. Um, let's have a look. What do we got over here? Ooh, this looks scary. Oh, what's this? This is bigger. Hey, you, stop. I guess they all say the same thing. By the way, when I first started, um, like, gaming, I started with the, well, I actually started with the Sega Mega Drive, but my first, like, real games were on the N64. And the Zelda on the N64... Both um, Majora's Mask and the first Zelda, I forget the name of the first one, they were like one of my favourite games, they were so epic. I, do you guys remember how hard it was to kill a chicken? Like those things were brutal, man. Anyway, so let's have a look, what do we got here? Sholosilui Funxias, Mood and Siai Palazzo. Okay, so apparently the keys only work in their, you know, their palaces. Okay, well that's great. Do you have any in here? Is there a key in here anywhere? Can I go this way? I can't walk into that random wall. Okay, let's go this way. So yeah, some of the books, because um, I've got a lot of books, but I don't tend to like collect uh, like books uh, as in like, um, well, I collect books, sorry, God, I'm losing my mind right now. I collect 
books on like grammar and history and etymology and stuff like that because for some reason I've just got a random fascination on that stuff and I guess a lot of Esperantists have so I do have some uh, like science fiction books and stuff like that but eh, I, I like to grab more the um, the historical books for sense now so for instance um, one of the like I'm gonna give you guys a list of books that I think are great for learning the language and understanding its history because I recently just did a video blog on you know, um, the culture of Esperanto. So I figured, you know, if you guys want to get into this, you should check out some of these books. And not just necessarily for culture. This doesn't look like the North Tunnel. This looks like the South Tunnel. Let's go to the South Tunnel. This is scary looking. Okay, that's shoot. Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that thing? Can I jump? No. Oh. Ah! Okay, just run! Run! Oh shit, there's something over here. Oh no! Oh, please don't eat me! I have no idea what I was doing in that tunnel. I think I'm actually going to exit this tunnel. It's too scary for me. Um, let's go look somewhere else. So yeah, uh, some of the books that I particularly like and I recommend everyone check out if you're an Esperantist and you're just interested in the history and the language itself. Ooh, there's water. Oh! I really don't like this. This is like an evil version of Pokemon. Like, seriously. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, no! Jump! What's the jump key? Okay, that's the jump key. Because, um, you're meant to play this with a controller. <laughs> I can't get over this wall. I've been defeated by the wall. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, okay, maybe you got to get a run-up. Uh, no! 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 <laughs> okay, well, yes, I'm over the wall. <sighs> Let's not do that again. This game is highly stressful. You're meant to play it with a controller, so I'm using, like, random keys on my keyboard at the moment. That's, that's my excuse for my bad gaming abilities. Okay, so through the North Tunnel. That looks like a tunnel up there. Ah, ah, and go away! No, stop following me! Ah. <laughs> I'm really not getting to the topic of this, like, random video blog. Oh, well, that was quick. Um, no, that's the way I started, so I'll go this way. Ah! Oh, God damn hippies. Yeah, yeah, take that. So yeah, one of the books I reckon all modern Esperanto should get is um, Conversational Esperanto by Don Lord. Now, that book's not very big, but it deals with like everyday concepts, which are usually, like when you're learning Esperanto, it's easy to find words for like international terms and stuff like that. But since we don't use, unless you're like from a native Esperanto family, since we don't use um, certain words every day, which we would say in English or any other language for that matter, um, oh, what is, what is that? What? I swear this, there must be something wrong with this ROM, because I can't see what's always trying to kill me. <laughs> I just fell in that hole. Okay. Um, but yeah, like certain day words, like for instance, take away Chinese and, um, you know, talk about television and what's happening in local, um, you know, the township and stuff like that. Those types of conversations are not something that you'd, you'd use every day in English, but not very often in Esperanto. So it's good. This book is good because it deals with everyday topics. Now I should keep walking. I'm probably going to lose this game soon. So sorry about being so bad at this game. Oh, oh there's something there. Ah, oh, why did you knock me off? I was on a roll. Ludolf Inigis. Well, thanks. That's that's great. No, I don't want to. I want to continue. So yeah, that's one of the definitely a book you should check out. Another book that um, every aspirant should check out, just for historical reasons, is Lingve Respondoi from Zamenhof. And base he didn't actually compile this, but. When Zamenhof was alive, he responded obviously a lot to language questions when the language first came out. And they were basically a bunch of letters um, and also articles in the, the main Esperanto magazine, which I think was called um, La Esperantista at the time. And those questions, most of them are still valid today, but it's interesting just so you can see how the languages evolve. Like there's certain things and ways of saying things which are like, oh, that seems a bit weird. And just because we don't say it like that anymore in modern Esperanto, and also just the historical things behind it, because, you know, we all like to see, like, well, not all of us, but me in particular, I like to see the history of a language. By the way, I'm walking around in circles here. I don't know if I should go back up north and try my luck again at that hole in the ground. You know what? Bugger it. I'm going to outrun these blobs that are trying to kill me. They did so go through the, they did say go through the tunnel in the north. Anyway, another question, uh, another book. 
Um, this is an old one. It's a Esperanto grammar and commentary, uh, and it's from Cox, okay? Uh, C-O-X. Now, that book, um, I like that book. Like, it, it's actually well done in teaching Esperanto um, in a written form. I think there's... There, I knew you were there. I knew you were there. You're here somewhere. No! <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that book's pretty cool because it's a very old book and it teaches Esperanto, but it's funny because it'll be like teaching you sentences and instead of talking about cars, it'll be talking about carriages. And it also teaches like old versions of words. And when I say old versions, um, versions, okay, you got words like, um, ah, oh, stop it. Okay, okay, oh, okay, can I, can I hit that? I can. Okay, so now I just got to figure out what I got to do because I know he's over there. Oh. I can see his little feet moving backwards and forth. Now that book, like for instance, um, the word, the modern word for train in Esperanto is traino, okay? But in that book it uses vagonado, which is a group of wagons, okay, for train. And that's what it used to be in Esperanto. So now jump and tack, jump and tack, jump and tack, jump and tack. Got him! Yes! Ha ha! I've defeated you! Uh, uh. Okay, there's another one just there. So if I jump and hit, jump and hit, yes, jump and hit. Yes! Aha! I, I've figured this out. I've got this down pat. Okay, so yeah, that's a pretty cool book. Um, another one, this here, if you can get your hands on it, it's freaking awesome. Um, it's called uh, Internazia Commerza Economia Votado and Dec Unu Lingvoi. That is a massive name, but basically it translates as International Commerce Dictionary in 11 Languages. And it's it's got 11 languages, it's a, a dictionary about like international commerce and stuff like that, I love it. Um, but it's not just like English and European languages, it's got like Japanese and Chinese in there. I think it was actually produced by the Chinese, I can't remember exactly. But it's an awesome dictionary, it's massive as well. It is a beefy book. Oh, 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 okay, okay, I see you, ah. Oh. No, no, I got one life left. Please don't make me go back to the beginning. <laughs> Why am I back at the beginning? Oh, I forgot about you. Oh, okay, so they're already, they're gone skis already. That's cool. Okay, let's go up here. Fail. Jesus. Mm. Okay, so yeah, that's a pretty cool book. Um, another one is uh, Yura Votado. Oh, what? It took me all the way back here. That's basically a law dictionary, and I just I like that one because it's just interesting. And also, um, I've worked a lot on Esperanto TV, so it's actually interesting to see proper legal terms um, that I could possibly use when dealing with like contracts and stuff. Because I've had to write um, subvencili, which is uh, what's the English word again? Uh, I forget the English word, funnily enough. But I've had to do up proposals, okay, to um, get funding for Esperanto TV in the past. Now, <laughs> I, I like jumped into everything then. <laughs> so I've had to like write up some form of like legal documentation in the past. What the cheeseburgers is that? Huh, 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 hiya, ha cha 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 cha. This is really complex. I don't know how people used to do this. The controllers must have just made things so much more easy. Eh. Uh, oh, so I meant to jump over that, not walk continually into it. <laughs> this is so hard with a keyboard. Uh, uh, what's the jump key again? Oh, God, cheeseburgers. Okay, um, another one is uh, Pardon, uh, Pardonasa Libro, um, which is basically a book on poetry, like how to write poetry in Esperanto. I think that's pretty... I don't know about you guys, but I thought that was pretty cool. I can't do poetry for the hell of it. Like, I'm terrible, but it's interesting seeing, like, how much you can manipulate Esperanto as a language. Fudge! I don't like this spot. Can I go back? I just want to go home to mummy. Oh, what? It's continual. Okay, so that's jump. No, that's not jump. That's not jump either. That is. Yes, yes, just get me out of here. Get me into that hole. Oh. That was the most stressful experience of my life, seriously. Okay, so we've got that one. Um, what's another one? Uh, uh, I think that's pretty much like my favourite books, eh? They're all like grammar books and stuff like that. Um, but I've got like, oh, I don't know how many books. I've, I'm a massive... Oh, I forgot about that dude again. Oh, I forgot about that dude. 
I'm pretty much like at the end of this video anyway, so I just wanted to have some fun playing this. Um, and I'll put links in down there for you guys, so you guys can check it out and attempt to download it. And maybe do a lot better than I do at this. I know you're there. I saw you. I saw you. And I will kill you. Okay, so that's right. Jump attack. Jump attack. And jump. No, that's attack. Yes. <laughs> You'll never take me alive. I saw that one too. Uh, 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 take that, take that invisible dude. Oh no! Okay, I guess that's a sign from above that I am not destined to play this game. So yeah, anyway, if you want to play this game, check out the links below. Um, check out some of those books I mentioned as well. And if you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well then, you better be a better player at this game than I am because I will find you and hurt you. <laughs>